Hey guys, it's Mr. Aegis Tech here. Today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak an iPhone 3G or an iPod Touch 2G MB model. Now this will not work for MC models, iPhone 3GS, 4, iPad, just the um, devices I just listed. I'll repeat over them one more time. It is iPhone 3G, which we have demonstrated here, and the iPod Touch 2G MB model. Now if you don't know if you have an MB or MC, the iPhone 3G doesn't matter if you're an MC or MB, but I'm going to show you how to do it, um, if you, how to find it out. So you're going to want to um, navigate to general settings, general about, and then you see 4.0, oh wait, no, not that. We're going to go down to model, and you'll see MB or MC, the first letters right there. So. Um, once you figure that, if you're MB, you can go ahead and jailbreak. If you're MC, you should probably uh, stick to some other tutorials. Um, this I'm going to be showing you this on 4.0.2, which I have right there. And yeah, so this jailbreak is done with Red Snow, as you can see right here on the desktop. And you just want to go down to here, where there's the download link. Now you're also going to need to go to felixbronze.de uh, There's a link in the description. Find your firmware, which um, even if you are on 4.0.2, you need to select 4.0 IPSW. Now um, it uses the exploit and basically it's that. So you need to download that. Don't try to download 4.0.2 because Red Snow will not recognize it. So you're going to, if you're on Windows, you click that. If you're on Mac, click that. It's as simple as that. So once you have everything downloaded, I have everything on my desktop right here. Red Snow right here. So all you need to do, have your iPhone 3G plugged in. And we're going to open up Red Snow. And of course the iPhone 3G is not jailbroken. So let's go browse for the firmware. And this will also enable multitasking and native backgrounds if you want. Now we're going to browse for the 4.0 firmware, not the 4.0.2. So we're going to click open. It's going to process the firmware and then it's going to give us a green light, which IPSW successfully identified. We're going to click next. It's going to download the kernel and patching and all that, basically just per preparation. Now right here is something you have to pay attention. Now do you want your iPhone running slow or do you want it to be cool I guess and be up to date with the iPhone 4 with multitasking or not. So um, we got install Cydia. You're going to definitely want that. Verbos boot, custom boot logo and recovery which I'm not going to do. But I am not going to enable multitasking because it's really, really slow. So you can all um, pick whatever you want. I like Verbose Boot. I think it's pretty cool. So we're going to click Next. Now it's going to ask us to verify that your iPhone is off or iPod Touch. So let's just go ahead and switch it to off. And next, it's going to give us some prompts to put the device into DFU mode. Now let's just wait for it to turn off and now it's fully powered off so we're going to click next. Now it's going to ask us to hold the home button then the home and power button for 10 seconds. And let's just wait for that. Now it's going to ask me to release the top button and hold the home button until basically it just recognizes it and puts in DFU. And you can see right there, once you get the waiting for reboot, uh, you're basically all set. So let's just wait for this. And yeah. So now it's uploading it. And yeah. So people have ha been having problems with the IPS, unable to recognize IPSW or some issues like that. That is because you selected the 4.0.2 or 4.0.1 firmware. You want to select the 4.0 firmware. So now we're just waiting for it to basically jailbreak.
and uh, Red Snow says it's done. Now everything just continues on the device. So let's just watch it. Now it goes to the pineapple walking along. And everything's being done on the device. No need for the USB device. Okay, so the device is rebooting, and you're going to see the verbose boot as it goes. And there's the verbose boot. I think it looks pretty cool. And yeah. Also, if you get a boot error, you know exactly what's going on. But it's just my opinion. It's cool. I want to do it with my iPhone 4, but... So we're just waiting for the reboot. And we got a it rebooted. Okay, um let's just wait until it's fully there. Waiting for activation, kind of weird, but yeah. So, slide over, there's Cydia. So, that was how to jailbreak your iPhone 3G and your iPod Touch 2G MB model on 4.0, 4.0.1, .0, 4 and 4.0.2, and 4.1 Beta 2. So guys, um, rate, comment, subscribe. If you have an iPhone 4, um, click somewhere around here for the tutorial on how to jailbreak you can see Cydia right there and yeah one last thing if you're interested in 4.0 for iPod Touch 1G um, basically here it is uh, click an annotation somewhere around here and you'll be forwarded to a video on how to get that or just explaining the features so guys this is Mr. AJ Stack don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe and um, catch you later.